Tony, this couldn't have happened at a more terrible time as people gathered together to watch the World Cup final. As you pointed out earlier, three blasts shaking the Ugandan capital. The death toll standing right now at 74. We know that the number of injured stands at 71. You know, if this is indeed proven to be the work of Al-Shabaab, it would be the first time that this organization has struck beyond Somalia's own borders. So this could possibly be a real turning point in all of this. But Tony, as you'd imagine, in the aftermath of those blasts, chaos ensuing in the Ugandan capital. And right now, loved ones just trying desperately to reconnect with their, their relatives to, to find out whether they are indeed yeah. dead or whether they're in one of the two major hospitals where the injured are being taken, Tony. And Aisha, let's be clear here. What we're understanding is uh, Al-Shabaab in Somalia is targeting Uganda because of Uganda's support of uh, the African Union's efforts to bring some kind of, of, of stability to that fractious government in Somalia, correct? That's absolutely correct. I mean, the situation as it stands now is that there are approximately 5,000 African Union troops there on the ground trying to, to prop up the fragile interim government there in Mogadishu. Now, those troops are made up of Ugandans and Burundis, essentially, and Al-Shabaab has long declared countries like Uganda and Burundi their enemies because of that support. Now, as you pointed out, one of the targets in the attacks yesterday was an Ethiopian restaurant, yes. which is very popular with expatriates there on the ground in Uganda. Now, the question is, why would they have been attacked? Why would a, an Ethiopian establishment have been targeted? One of the reasons that could possibly uh, explain it is the very fact that Ethiopia has long backed the interim That's government right. against the rebels. In fact, back in 2006, Ethiopian troops invaded Somalia to basically eliminate the, a broad-based Islamic coalition and install this, uh, this new fragile government. They only withdrew in 2009. And with that Al-Shabaab has added uh, Somalia to the list of enemies that includes Uganda, Burundi and Ethiopia.